My Time is a counselling and psychological services provider based in Small Heath in Birmingham. My Time offers a counselling service that considers the individual in a holistic way that accepts cultural and faith sensitive differences. One of its key strengths is providing psychotherapy and counselling support for men, especially men from different cultures and backgrounds. It's hard because people don't know how to take you. You know, um, it's something I've got to live with. I don't like it because sometimes if I'm if I'm really feeling down, I don't like how it makes me feel. Yeah. Severe anxiety, uh, social phobia. Just uh, I said, I didn't talk to anyone when I first came in. The dropping, I sat in the corner, and it was only for these ladies that approached me. I wouldn't have approached them and started talking. And it's just uh, anxiety, depression. Um, in my country is a big uh, war, so I escaped from the war. So when came first time here, I'm depressed and uh, we don't know anything because we don't have friends, we don't have... So we cannot sleep in the night, so always I'm, uh, I'm thinking. I used to be a, a police officer. I was a, a detective. I worked for the Murder Investigation Unit of the West Midlands Police. And uh, about four years ago, I had a serious nervous breakdown, which was basically associated to my sort of marriage collapsing and going through the process of divorce and, and what have you. Um, one minute I was at the forefront of a sort of murder investigation, and within three months, four months, I was in a mental hospital. I mean, suffered a breakdown. I was told that I was suffering from uh, severe depression. Well, I'm a single parent, and when you have been experienced mental problems or mental health problems. There's two things that happen. So who is going to take care of their children? And uh, what will be happening if you're going to be admitted in a hospital? I had parents who suffered very bad depression. And that obviously affected me. And in my first marriage, um, the mother of my children uh, experience um, long periods uh, of depression and that's why I became a single parent and through that time if there had been an organisation that uh, would have supported um, us as a family then my family might have uh, been together They do teach you to, to try to, it's a big part of their ethos that they uh, encourage you to assume responsibility for yourself, which is you know, it's quite difficult to do when you are seriously uh, depressed. Um, that is part of the process, but you know, it's, it's, it's my view that had I been introduced to my time four and a half years ago, before I ended up with psychiatrists and the, the National Health Service, and there is every chance that I wouldn't have gone into the mess that I did. Yeah. And um, you know, but having said that, you know, I'm here, I'm where I am now with my time. I'm getting help with them every day. Um, you know, I've, I'm recently, I'm very proud of the fact that recently I've been appointed to the board of the organisation. So, you know, it's an organisation that listens to the people that that use it, which is very important. Mm -hmm. So, my times, the take responsibility to care my children. And at the same time, so, you know, to make follow up that I'm going to get better treatment from you know National Health Service, to be treated like a just normal human beings. Mm -hmm. It's just to make a link between me and my children, to make sure that the children have been kept in properly, and that I have been treated properly in the hospital. The the non-judgmental, you know, what I mean, they make you feel comfortable. Um, they listen to you. Um, they don't patronise you. Like I've had psychiatrists in the past and like you say to them, they ask you a question and you give them an answer and they'll say something patronising like, are you sure you're not imagining it? When I come to my time, I feel better because we find friends and uh, uh, make like, some activity in the garden. They give me courage and confidence. 
and then they, if you need any help for telephone or everything, for support me. Um, also with groups like uh, Terrace Day group, we get lunch together. So we get the confidence, and uh, we know we know everything in culture of in UK in Birmingham. Because uh, you know when I come first time here, we don't know everything, no language, no anything. Mm -hmm. So now with my confidence is better. Uh, we can solve everything myself. Uh, my time um, way of uh, uh, therapeutic way is very, uh, very, very nice, and uh, it is friendly environment. Everybody is happy. So I went back to my doctor's surgery, and they referred me to a place called Whiteham, and I received counselling, and they got me to a place where I wanted to. I was much happier. And it pretty much saved me. It, it did. I, I mean, I, I, I feel I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for this organisation and. The work that they do is, it's, 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 not enough people know about it. We needed ten, there were ten places, right? Or well, minimum ten places to register with this, that project. Um, if you're registered with that, then you'll get a, there's a kind of a certificate so you can, actually learn the skills of developing an enterprise. The features are going to be on an individual basis and at the end of it they will be doing a, an award ceremony and also a ceremony of certificate. So everyone who's completed the course will get a certificate. It's the way you want to communicate that. Now, in view of what we've got there, the doctor must reassess you to go back to work. Can anybody lead it somewhere? Doctor is suggesting me you uh, it's good to work. I don't think I can't go to work because I my feet is sleeping for the drugs. My time I've got very strong dedicated teams, very experienced, very knowledgeable teams who knows what to do in particular when you have been experienced those type of problems. Michael, the, the man that runs it, Michael Lilly, he admitted to us that he's been through mental health issues so he knows what it's like not to be listened to and everything right. and um, when you've got somebody, a professional that's basically, that you deal with, that's been through a similar situation that you've been through, you find it easier to communicate with them six weeks you always hear the word six weeks you know and yeah. six weeks isn't enough to tell the first week of your life you know it's not mm -hmm. and to go to tell all your life in six weeks and then for them to say you know okay you know you should feel better now on your way it, 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 it. that's why i got a different organization but when i came here i had the six sessions and the council asked, he said he weren't, you know, and he gave me another six and another six. And he got me to where, not only I wanted to, where he wanted to see me, just talking to people, just not having that social fear in me, just to approach someone. And Here, uh, you can get uh, a total involvement. But the other organisation uh, I have been, and some organization they do just paperwork mm -hmm. and uh, then whether you are okay or not you know they don't bother about that I find all service here because when you need anything we solve me easier yeah no take time if you need any help easier I can find here in my time you know I've turned up in my time in some pretty desperate states Never been told, you know, I've never been told to turn away, mm -hmm. to go away or to, you know, uh, we haven't got time to speak to you, you'll have to book an appointment tomorrow or, you know, it's got that ethos and uh, it's, not, it's, not, it's not an ethos in terms of a, a corporate mission statement, it's, that's the way the organisation works. And most people that have depression or mental illness are poor. They don't have money, they don't have the choice. They have to, they have to be very humble 
and accept what they get. Um, and I wanted a service that was so socially inclusive, um, that was gender specific, that there was real choice and that was based on the needs of the individual, not um, having a service that fitted all. In the psychology and counselling sector, we are unique and we've got awards to prove that because there aren't many organisations out there that can deliver the level of work that we do and in the approach that we take. I think the most important thing is people should have a choice where they have their services and if they feel a third sector organisation like my time gives them a good service they should have the opportunity of using that service. Now the thing about my time I will say in terms of mental illness and general support to individuals they are so networked now that people are being referred to other areas that they can even benefit more. We recognise what makes up an individual and that every part of them makes them who they are. So we aren't afraid to tackle issues that normal, you know, everyday organisations would be. And I think that, that's what gives us our niche. We need to have a revolution in mental health and we need to have services by people who really care and are not just doing it for the money.